My name is Drew Schmidt. I'm one of the partners here at Frog Alley Brewing Company. My name is Rich Michaels. I'm a partner here also with Drew. Uh, between the two of us, we have over 50 years brewing experience. I love just being able to create new beers, all those new flavors, new varieties of hops and malt coming out that we get to experiment with, get to see the customer feedback um, when we produce a new beer and the accolades when we produce a very good beer. Yeah, this is a, a great sized brewery. We have a lot of exciting new brews coming out all the time, as Drew mentioned. And you know, we work right from raw material selection up to serving finished beer to customers. We have a lot of unique equipment that most other breweries in the, in the area don't have. Um, Rich can explain a little bit more yeah. about... Yeah, we've got a mash filter which uh, allows us to be a bit more efficient than most small brewers. Uh, allows us to work with some pretty unique ingredients and produce some pretty special beers. And we do try and stay very traditional with our ingredients. Uh, we produce a wide variety and we try and source materials that are appropriate um, for style. We're also very lucky we have a flash pasteurizer which I don't think any other brewery our size has. Um, allows us to produce some shelf-stable products that most other breweries wouldn't be able to produce. Rich has also sourced out a great lab, um, so we're able to do a lot of testing that most other breweries our size wouldn't be able to do. At the end, we have to put out a quality product. I think the Ale Trail's great. You know, that you see a lot of people who are coming in and, and going from brewery to brewery, and tasting each other's beers and commenting on each other's beers. It seems to be um, really creating a, a sense of community, um, not only with the brewers, but also with the drinking public. And one of the things I've noticed is we've seen a lot of customers come from outside the area. You see people come visit the area for the weekend, stay in town, and visit breweries. You know, we're becoming a destination known for craft beer at this point. Um, it's pretty exciting. It's great. <laughs> it's great beer. Um, no, we, we really enjoy, uh, we're very happy the products we're putting out at this point. We're always looking for uh, new ingredients, new styles. Uh, we're at this point, I think we have about 17 different beers on tap. It's a huge variety for a brewery this size. Uh, hopefully we can find something for everyone. Uh, we've been able to uh, find some, some beers for people that aren't traditional beer drinkers. We've got a, a range of sour beers at this point. Uh, everybody seems to really enjoy IPAs these days. We've kept that interesting by uh, showing up different hop varieties with that. So we've uh, tried to feature ingredients, uh, fruit beers. We're using real fruit, so uh, they're very true to what they should be. Uh, just, I think it's a great time to be a beer drinker in the county here. There's a lot of good stuff going on, uh, a lot of great craft beverages being produced, and uh, I think it's a good start for, for what's to come.